It is time for another chart video. And this time it's from Mad Dog Iris. Not Eris. I got Mad Dog Eris was already taken. So we have to settle for Iris. Facts about Ayano Kimishima that we should know. Roche today content. First up. Ayano is the general affairs of the student council. Well, we know that one, right? Masachika and Ayano are both like general affairs. Next. She is silent and expressionless by default, a.k.a. Kudere. But like, her thing seems to be like Kudere while seeing just absolute insane shit. Kind of like Tobichi Origami from Data Live, you know? Where they're supposed to be calm, reserved. But then they send, they, she said like what? Shockwaves throughout my womb. Where the fuck did that come from? Next. Ayano's birthday is February 21st. Oh my God, guys. You better get your fucking gift ready next year. Number four. Ayano's zodiac sign is Pisces. <laughs> All right, cool. Next. Give me some good ones. Hmm. That's right. It's always remember. It's always important to be cognitive, to be aware of the ages of girls in rom-com, guys. Fifteen years old. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Next up. Her Japanese voice actor, Saya Aizawa. Is there any other popular characters that Saya Aizawa has voice acted for? Same voice actor as Norn? You just ruined this character for me. <laughs> you just... I, I hate Ayano now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Norn is alright. I don't mind Norn at all. Norn is great for content, actually. Ayano is a Satan Private Academy. I did not realize that this character could literally become, uh, like, an institute. Huh. She is a Saren Private Academy? That's crazy. She's like a school, huh? Can we, like, enter Ayano then? Hmm. Next up. She is a faithful servant of Yuki. Yes. Ayano seems to really, really respect Yuki. And the reason... Why Ayano said, what did she say about Masachika? Right? What did Masachika say about, uh, sorry, Ayano say about Masachika that he is still the one that I respect the most? There was some specific line from Ayano when Masachika said, idolize, exactly. When Masachika said, like, Yuki is the most important person to me still, right? And I think that's what, you know, triggered that telling of Ayano saying, he is the person I idolized just as before because Masatsuka always looks after Yuki and Ayano obviously is a faithful servant of Yuki. Next. She used to serve Masatsuka as well. Yeah, back in uh, when we didn't get divorced, right? When mom and dad were still together and we were all in the same house. And then after the divorce, what happened? Yuki and Ayano went with dad? And then we went with mom's side, right? I think. But even if we went with mom's side, we... But we spent a lot of time with... Grandpa? Grandpa's an asshole, though. All the times were getting jumbled up. We went to the dad's side. Yuki went with the mom's side. Okay, okay. Masatsuka with dad. Yuki with mom. But we also, like... During the tellings of, uh... When we went to the playground, wasn't it, like, a playground near grandpa's place? The evil grandpa? Was that the same grandpa? Is there different branches of grandpas? I don't fucking know. Next. She's a loyal person who gives her master the utmost respect and absolute fealty. Yeah, she seems like it. She seems like she'll do literally, she'll literally kill. I don't know. <laughs> if it's for Yukir Masatsuka, I think she would do some insane things. She's also a ninja. Yeah, there's different grandpas to be aware of too. Be careful. As described by others, she barely makes any noise and her actions and presence that generally goes unnoticed. Like the Kunoichi training. The whole slice of life cute moment when she was like underneath the waterfall. <laughs> like the training moments were actually so adorable. Next up. She's as silent as can be and mainly wants to stay out of people's sight. Because a servant should never overshadow their master or something like that. You know what? I would like it if there was a moment where Ayano gets a little bit, uh, selfish and says, and gets more, I don't know, it shines brighter than the other girls. Like, Ayano probably is not in the running, you know, to get Masachika, but it would be cool if Ayano had, like, a moment where she breaks character and, like, 
has her own desires explicitly stated. Next, above all else, she values her connection with Yuki, whether small or big. These two are just... Honestly, their relationship is so funny. Because <laughs> it, it's actually... Because like they're like the villain duo. It's weird how they're the antagonist, kind of, right? We know they're not evil, but they're like the opposing force in terms of like the the student election tournaments arc and like Yuki's like a demon lord and Ayano is like the demon lord's secretary and they have like their own secret meetings I love that shit next up at first glance she comes across as robotic and bodily movements monotone and in her manner of speech formal in character and with very little to no expression on her face well, yeah, that's like, you know, coup de template. That with like a, a servant or a maid always being coup de day. It's just the perfect archetype with the characteristics of a, you know, a role where you're supposed to be very like dignified and quiet and, you know, low key. She is also hardly an initiator of conversations unless it's one of those moments she's filled with emotions. Like when she said shockwaves throughout my womb. Next. She processes emotions just like any other person would, but she's mostly kept hidden. Okay, so she's not retarded. <laughs> so she's so you're telling me that I know all the different emotions are in her head, but she has like a manual trigger to suppress all that shit and make sure nothing is known. Like in SAO, remember the most recent episode of SAO in season four right now? That other fucking integrity night, Shade Tower or something? Like I can't tell if the emotions are being processed in her head, right? I don't know. But I know, she's basically a normal girl, but the coup that he act is just an act then? What is this telling me? Because one could imply that the coup that he act is simply just an act, and she is a normal girl, just like anyone else, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a moment where we see Ayano in private closed doors and she pops off. Next. The name Ayano means figure, a design, Aya? So design is Aya and Noah is from. What is Koji? So hold up. If we just add the words Koji at the end of Ayano. So we have figure design from and then Koji. Ayano Koji. I'm not sure what that would mean. Maybe there's a whole separate meaning if you combine the words. Oh shit, Bunny Girl Senpai. Ayano's surname is Kimishima means Lord Noble and Island. So they're obviously like hiding. Well, they're not hiding, but they didn't explicitly state how bougie our family is, right? Because not only are they talking about like the perfect product of the must like the Kuse family of Masatsuka being like a some dude from the white room or something, but like we come from like a family of politicians, I think. But beyond that, Ayano also has last name has some relationship with like Lord Noble. It's, it just sounds like the Masatsuka family hold like. They're rich as fuck, and they're super important in the past. Number 19. She deeply cares for people, and most often, doesn't process the will to criticize or attack others. So you telling me that Aino is also thinking L Alia. Alia L, cringe, Alia you suck, just like the rest of us have been watching the episodes, but she doesn't say it. It's all just bottled in her head. So she's very aware. Okay. Next, as others put it, she's a sweet and kind girl. We already know that. You're just patting this fact. Next. Her excessive admiration for her masters, Yuki Masachika, mixed into her sexual preferences. Wait, what? Mixed into her sexual preferences developing rather unique desires and joys out of it, which jokes making her out to be a masochist. So the shockwave to the womb is an example of this, right? The excessive admiration of Masachika saying, Yuki is the most important person to me. She's like, oh, glaze, glaze, shockwaves. <laughs> and that was like a joke coming out. Okay. Next up. Her grandparents alt for, uh, also work for the Suo family. That's right. Her parents don't, right? But her grandparents did. Because Ayano admired her grandparents. Wonder what her parents are up to. Next. Alongside her high regard for her grandparents, 
she decided to work for the household as well. I hope she's getting paid well, man. Because she has to go to school and she has a fucking job afterwards. Next. Yeah, this moment, bro. <laughs> this training arc? This little brief training arc montage was the cutest shit ever in Roche today. She started serving as early around second grade. Oh, we got some AI art. Her ability to not... Wait, actually, is this AI? Hold up. Is this light novel art? Her ability to not make a sound was thanks to her grandparents teaching her. That's right. The ninja art. This is illustration? Got it. I only said it was AI because I saw like a similar Adi Frete illustration that looked like this, but they could have taken the artist's uh, template and then, you know, uh, fed in the model with that. <laughs> 15! 15! Okay? Okay? Okay, but regarding the, um, her ability to not make a sound was thanks to her grandparents teaching her. Is there, like, something bad going on with her parents? Like, her and her parents. Because, like, not only was the grandparents the previous servants, but the parents were skipped. I don't know. It sounds like... We, I'm just assuming that maybe there's a possibility of Ayano and her parents not having a good relation because it seems more grandparent related. And is that it? That's it. We got a picture of Masha. Uh, Yuki, best girl. Uh, oh, Elfie. Alia, and then, come on, show me Ayano. So this is my ranking. My ranking of girls right now is in this order. Yuki, number one. Then Alia and Masha tied for number two. Sorry, sorry. Masha and Ayano tied for number two. Then Alia last place. I'm sorry. That's how I feel about it. But hey, please go check out Mr. Mad Dog Iris' channel. Check out the video. Give it a like if you did. And I'll see you next time.